Now I'm gonna do the eight bells. First I'm gonna do function one, which will turn on the bell, and then I'm gonna do function 18, eight times or so to go through all the bells. And those are the bells. I um, have them currently set to about two or three rings per second or something like that, but you can change that in another CV. Unfortunately, you can't change that in an easy to access function. Now we're gonna go do the horns. So now we're gonna do all 34 horns. I'm basically gonna blow it a little bit and then do the two chimes for the front and three for the reverse. Um, some of the horns, obviously with the 8-bit quality, you can really hear it here in the horns, especially if you're trying to do the the just the two toots forward or whatnot. Um, some of the horns lend themselves to be quillable, but not quite. So, anyways, um, I'll let you guys make your own um, opinions on the sounds, and I'll just play them for you. Um, there's an easy way to go through the horns using function 19, but it's kind of obnoxious because it plays the horn really, really, really long, like five to ten seconds. So I'm going to go through the program ops mode function or ops mode and just do them and uh, manually. So here we go, starting with horn zero. On to one. For reference, we're on number 10 as of now.
This here is number 30. And here's the last one. So with the end of the horns comes the end of the review. You've heard all the horns, the functions, the bells. The bells sound amazing. The horns, a couple of them are okay and they're passable. But I don't know what exactly they are and hopefully with your help we can figure it out. I've definitely heard a couple of them before, you know, in rail fan videos or even in real life. But I just think the quality is lacking on quite a bit of them as far as the robustness to be able to um, do the two toots forward or the three toots reverse. I just think it's... Um, somewhat difficult with what's given to us. I do hope that MRC comes out with 16-bit sounds for these decoders sooner rather than later as it's a pretty good um, you know deal to get both sound and motors just for around $75 to put into an engine instead of at least you know $120 to $150 to do a two decoder setup. But that's the end of the review. If you have any questions feel free to ask and thanks for watching.